Pele. Today is known as Christ the King Sunday. It's the final Sunday of the church year. Just like school years have different start dates to the calendar year, so does the church. Our new church year begins next Sunday with the beginning of Advent. On Christ the King Sunday, we think about what it means for Jesus to be King. At the end of the church year, we think about what will happen at the end of time as we know it. We're told in the Bible that at some point, Jesus will one day return to earth again. And that's when God's kingdom will finally be fully here. Everything will once again be as God designed it to be. No more suffering or pain. No more evil. We're promised that justice will be done once and for all. In our gospel reading today, Jesus is talking about that time. He talks about a time when he will be recognised by all as the king of the universe and judge of all. He describes himself as the son of man in his glory, sat on a throne, surrounded by angels. That's a pretty awesome image. But then he likens himself to a shepherd, separating the sheep and the goats. In the Old Testament reading from Ezekiel, God is also described as a shepherd. A shepherd who brings justice, a shepherd ruler, a shepherd king. Probably not the most natural of pairings, of roles. But then Jesus has always pushed the boundaries of people's expectations. It would be easy to take these readings and simply to use them to check that we're doing well enough. If we think of it in terms of Jesus's return, it can be tempting to reduce the gospel reading down to checking that we've done enough good things to earn our way into heaven one day. I put some tins in the food bank box. I gave my old clothes to the homeless shelter and I visited my elderly neighbour. I've done more good in my life than bad. I must be okay. But the point of what Jesus was saying wasn't to get us to check that we have enough stars in our eternal life sticker chart. The implication is that making sure that those in poverty have what they need, that the isolated are cared for, and that the person who is different is recognised as a fellow child of God. The implication is that those things are a given. If we wouldn't ignore Jesus and his needs, then we shouldn't ignore the needs of any of God's children. God is the God of ultimate justice. The justice God wants and will ultimately bring is far deeper and broader than even the most generous donations and being kind to those who are overlooked. The justice of God is world changing. It is world challenging. God's justice challenges the very structures of nations and societies that allow injustice, poverty and discrimination in the first place. If we're wondering whether we've got enough gold stars to make it into heaven one day, then we're missing the points and we'll probably be a bit disappointed as well because that's not what this is about. All of us, as imperfect people, contribute to the injustices we see around us. Sometimes we recognise those injustices, but sometimes we're even unaware that we're part of the problem ourselves. No matter how hard we try, we won't do enough good. It doesn't mean we should stop trying though, that none of us have enough gold stars to earn our place in heaven. Elsewhere in John's Gospel, Jesus describes himself again as a shepherd, as the good shepherd who lays down his life for his sheep. The sheep he knows by name. We should all be doing good anyway. It's our acknowledgement of Jesus as our king, our acknowledgement of Jesus as our shepherd that matters when it comes to heaven. As we get ready for Advent this year, Let's make this a time when we really focus on getting to know our King and Shepherd better. Let's make it a time when we grow closer to him so that we can recognise his voice in our lives more clearly. So that our hearts learn to beat in time with his.
our hearts will naturally want to work for justice. Let's remember that Jesus said the greatest commands are to love God with all our heart, soul, mind and strength, and to love our neighbours, whoever they might be, as ourselves. Goodbye. God bless you.